During the summer times, we sometimes see these ozone action days and usually they go from morning into the late evening, which is around midnight. It all has to do with our air quality. Now, once our air quality gets to the orange category, uh, that is what we're looking at unhealthy for sensitive groups, and that's what triggers these ozone alert days. Now it goes from all the way from hazardous for all to good air quality, uh, so it is something we're constantly watching. Now it all has to do with the ozone and ozone's not a bad thing if it's in the right spot of the atmosphere. Now if it's way up in the sky, thousands of feet up in the stratosphere, that's good ozone that protects us from the harmful sun rays. Now if you get closer to the surface in the troposphere, you do not want ozone there because that is when it can become a problem for humans and breathing. Now why it develops this time of year at a hall has to do with the weather pattern and it has to do with usually high pressure, those warm temperatures and all the sunshine. With high pressure, you get a lot of calm winds, you get sinking air, and there's not a whole lot going on. So that ozone is able to develop. It doesn't mix up out of the atmosphere. And that's exactly what we see as we go throughout the summer months. So what can you do to protect yourself if you are in that sensitive group? Well, if you have asthma or breathing issues, just try to stay inside, especially during the afternoon and evening hours, usually when it's at its highest. Everyone can reduce their emissions, whether it be driving less, staying home, maybe ride your bike and things like that. And of course, as I mentioned, it's best to wait to do all this until after 6 p.m. or so or once the sun sets.